Whoops. Danny, what's going on, brother? Just lighting some coals. We're gonna pack a bowl. What's up? What's up, bro, bro? No. I'm gonna pack some off fucker. Maybe we can make this informative. I don't know. I was just gonna give an update on the blade molasses catcher. So, here we go. So, this is the blade and molasses catcher. I'm going to pack a bowl, too. Maybe uh, go, go through some tutorials on things. I don't know. Here's the blade. Here's the coals that I used yesterday, right? All right. So, there's that. Here's the shisha. It's burnt to a crisp. Okay. I'm going to remove it. Oh, look at that drippage. All right. So, I didn't catch all of it. I mean, he prevented it. My base is pretty clean. But let us take this to the sink. <laughs> Mo. Oh, man. Wait. Wait till you see this uh, tutorial that I'm going to do in a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. Let me, let me flip this over. Bruh. Bruh. All right. So I wanted to be near the sink because of the, this guy right here. So remove the bowl. It kind of dripped on the side a little bit. That's okay. I probably should have just removed the molasses catcher. Did it catch anything on the inside? Yes, it did. Look at that. It caught a bunch of shit on the inside. All right. So the molasses catcher works. Did it catch? Uh, was there any restriction? No. Nope. There was uh, no restriction. It is a win for me. I'm actually going to use it again smoke this next round that I'm going to do uh, okay here we go here we go all right these are clean they're wet that's okay we'll grab this coloss bowl because it's right here okay okay all right all right all right let's dry some of the equipment and uh, we're going to go over some of the uh, the Alfacker stuff that I got in the mail yesterday. And kind of, you know, let's go over how to use some of the cleaning supplies and the materials. Go a little bit about hygiene and things like that. See, see what brushes fit where. Uh, and then let's pack a bowl of some AF. Okay. I'm just drying this a little bit because you just rinsed it. Okay, that towel can go there. That can go there. Let me dry the catcher. How's everybody's quarantine doing today? Don't drop us. How's everybody's quarantine going? Mine's going swell. I'm still, wor I'm working from home. Uh, running some things right now with my with my company. Uh, lots of uh, phone calls this morning, which was surprising to me. People still want to get paid, right? I also still want to get paid, but nothing's moving right now for construction, so that kind of sucks. Okay, wait. That one already has a grommet. All right, so this is going here. Cool. Okay, so let's go over some of the cleaning stuff that Al Fokker gave me. All right, we're gonna use the disposable hose because it's right here. Actually, I don't need to, I have a regular hose. I might save this for going out. All right, so I got some brushes, some cleaning supplies from them to clean your hookahs with. I, I feel like this is self-explanatory. Stop yourself from the resort. Bro, that's from Target. Okay, so. I feel like these are self-explanatory, but I mean, let's just go over them anyway, right? This stuff right here is used to make, to clean your, your base, OK? 
okay? So, vase slash base, this stuff. It goes in, it goes out. It goes in, it goes out. You can bend these. You can bend these like so. What does that do? Oh my gosh, now you can clean the sides. Scientific. <laughs> All right, so that's the base. Uh, another thing is, this is a KM, right? These are, are used to clean the stems of the KMs. Just like the rifle, just like a rifle. You go in, you go out, okay? In a rifle, you can, might actually have a bigger one that goes all the way through, uh, which is fine. The smaller ones, like these, you can use to clean your hose ports, okay? Uh, if your hose port is really tiny, like these guys right here, you can use these to clean that, right? No problem. Uh, it comes with everything. What I also have is a, I have a small pipe cleaner, if I can find it, and I can show you guys. I have a small pipe cleaner that I use to clean them. Um, and kind of rub the stuff in there if I can find it. Don't know where actually where it's at. It's right here. So another thing you guys can purchase is something like this: small pipe cleaner. You can use it to get to the little small holes when you're cleaning things or your hose ports and whatnot, right? But after every single use, you know you can stick these to wherever you want. I think right here is good for that. Uh, make sure they're clean, right? Hygiene hygiene is important some other cleaning alternatives. I think these uh, brushes kind of speak for themselves. You find the orifice where the brush fits and that's what it's used to clean. Uh, that's pretty much it. The other thing that I used to clean, I have a steam cleaner. So actually I turn on the steam cleaner and I just nuke the freaking uh, hookah with it. Don't use a steam cleaner on your bases, they will shatter. You swear word. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Do you use soap? I use, uh, yeah, I use, I use dish soap on some of the things. Uh, sometimes, depending if I'm using like a pond flavor and stuff, I'll just use my steam cleaner because the steam cleaner will get all the pond flavor out. Uh, if it's stainless steel, I'll actually take a, um, like if I was cleaning my MIG, right? I would actually take apart the MIG, put it in a bowl, throw some OxyClean in there, some hot water, let it soak for 30 45 minutes and rinse it out. And then I'll take the brushes as well and use that to kind of scrub it a little bit and that's it. Uh, so that's really easy. Um, or you can just use dish soap. Uh, the stainless steel to stuff doesn't ghost. So when you're cleaning your pipes, it's, uh, it's fairly easy. You gotta be careful when you're using OxyClean though to not use it with anything anodized. So like this blade molasses catcher, this B2, uh, this Prometheus, uh, things I have here in the back, anything anodized, don't use OxyClean with it because it's going to strip it, right? Stainless steel products only. Um, I made that mistake with this, by the way. This is a KM Trimetal, right? We used OxyClean on it. See that? It stripped all of that, that, black, that black paint away. So that's how I found out. Trial, trial and error. Uh, but just be careful with it. How many tours were I on? Like five or six? Uh, Matt Pair HD. <laughs> yeah. The uh, Matt Pair HD, you can use it on. The, uh, this guy right here. Oh, you're talking about the Claudica. Yeah, you can use it on the Claudica. There should be no problem with it. It's stainless steel. Or it's a uh, 6061, right? Uh, I don't know if that's anodized at all. Uh, I haven't really cleaned it. Thinking our superior, I'm using superiors right now, Mr. Stefan G. I'm using superiors. I have three of them lit currently. Yeah, actually, this one I haven't really cleaned. You can see right here, it's like it's pretty dirty. Um, I'll rinse it once in a while, and that's about it. I don't, I haven't really scrubbed it or anything. So, so that is that. But. I have uh, sprayed it with some of my, um, with my, my steam cleaner. So this is my steam cleaner, okay? I, it just sits kind of right here next to my bathroom. This is my, I use a McCulloch, this bad boy right here. 
that's my steam cleaner. Um, if I'm cleaning my pipes, I just kind of, I turn it on, let it boil and do whatever it needs to do. Let's see how long it takes to, to heat up. Maybe I can demonstrate. With a beanie or hood up. Dude, look at this. I need a haircut. So nobody's doing haircuts in my area right now. Uh, and I think my solution is, I'm just going to shave my head. And I think that's my solution because it's getting bad. Uh, I think I'm just going to shave my head, dude. I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So the other thing that Alfacker sent me yesterday is they sent me... Ta -da, ta -da, TP, toilet paper. All right. So I'm going to show you guys since, uh, since toilet paper is hard to come by right now. Okay. We need to conserve and reuse as much toilet paper as we can. Okay. I see you laughing, Mo. You know what's about to happen. Okay. So I'm going to teach you how to clean yourself with one sheet of toilet paper. You take one sheet, just like so. Okay. You fold it in half, just like so. Okay. Take the center piece. Actually, no, fold it again. Fold it again, just like so. Take this corner piece right here. Just rip it. You don't need that. Okay? So what you got is this. What you got is this. Okay, so what you do to clean yourself is you take your, put it in your finger just like that. When you're done doing your business, you take this finger, swirl it all around, whatever you need to clean. Right? Eddie, you know what I'm talking about. You swirl this all around, whatever you need to clean. Take the toilet paper and you just Scooch it up, just like that. Grab every little crevice of whatever you're trying to do. And that's it. Boom, you throw it away, flush. And now you still got like 400 sheets left. <laughs> that's how you can serve toilet, toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do it. <laughs> Rice, recycle, reuse, <laughs> reuse. <laughs> what is the freaking theme song? <laughs> That's how you do it. <laughs> and now you know, knowing's half the battle, right? All right, what are we packing, guys? We got a cool lost bowl right here. We got, uh, I'll let you guys choose. We got 86, okay, craft batch 86. Uh, here's the description of flavor, flavor notes. It starts innocently in love with grape. But here comes the mulberry who's looking to mingle. They pick up a, a raspberry and now it's mold wine flowing. Light lime cranks up the volume and then saffron arrives and your taste buds are going berserk. This flavor is a must if you get 86. Yo, there's saffron in there? Get out of here. You forgot the small piece? Oh yeah, the small piece. The small piece is, is uh, you use it to get in between your nails like that. Just to get that, just make sure the nails are clean. Okay, after that, you throw the small piece away. <laughs> All right, craft back number 22 is, can this truly be called shisha when it tastes like, some, like a refreshing cocktail? Can it be both? Can it? It's lime tequila with a eucalyptus finish. Batch number 22. Batch number five. The smell of candy aroma before your mouth even touches the tip tastes Taste the juicy mix of orange, pineapple, raspberry, and lime. They see the vol, voluminous, what? Voluminous smoke and listen to the bubbling hookah. Come to your session five census. We've got the small piece. Get out of here, man. All right, my uh, coals are done, actually. So I'm gonna put them in the quadica to get that preheated a little bit. If I can stick all three of these in there. Yeah, Let me try. I'm gonna finagle with it. Oh, there it goes. It fits. All right, cool. So we gotta pack real quick. What should I pack? Give me a number. Twenty-two. Eighty-six. Number five. Anybody? Anybody? Bueller. Bueller. 
should I juggle it? Can't even finish. 86. 86 it is. All right. Craft batch. 86. Man, these tubs are... Tell you what, dude. These are so awesome. Ah. I'm going to open this. Uh, scissors. Oh, dude, that smells so good. Get out of here. What was 86 again? Mulberry, raspberry, grape, lime, saffron. That smells amazing. Dude. All right. So, Alfacher. Always comes with a tin that's ready to reuse, seal up, and, and do that stuff. So you never have to do this thing where, and, and repackage it, which is, I absolutely love, by the way. Here's how it comes, traditional, like that, and then you kind of move it around and fluff it up yourself, right? So I just take my chopsticks. And probably easier if I took this out of the, the tin, obviously, so I can grab it. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it in the plastic. I guess I could put it in the actual tin itself and just leave it, but we'll just leave it in the plastic. Alright. Actually, you know what? I don't have enough room to move this around the way I want to, so I'm gonna dump it on my pack mats and then we're just gonna push it back in. Cause it's still clumped up like yeah see i didn't have enough volume or room in my in my container to uh, mix it up the way i wanted so i'm gonna leave it like that is this 250 are you guys sure this is a lot this seems like way more than 250. I feel like I need to weigh this. I think this is like way more than 250 grams. All right, so I just break it up like this. This is what I like to do, okay? I like to break it up to make sure that everything's on its own. Uh, once I have it like this, I'll usually see if there's big stems. I'm not a big stem smoker. You can, so stems, you can smoke stems, right? It's no problem. Uh, some people uh, like to take them out. Sometimes I take them out, sometimes I don't. Uh, here we go. Here's a big clump right here. I'm going to need to break that up. Okay, cool. Sometimes you get big leaves uh, like this. No problem either. Uh, take some scissors or something. Just cut it up. Okay. All right, so once, once it's mixed up, just throw it back in the case. leave some out for my uh, my bowl I spilled some okay yeah I think this is this is a lot so I actually do have to compress this just a little bit um, because putting everything back in this container is it's gonna be too much you know what? Actually, it might be okay because I'm gonna leave some out for uh, for the bowl. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We might be all right. We might be all right. So once you have enough, uh, let's say I know this is a little bit messy. Unlike me, right? That's okay. So I like my leaves a little bit finer than this which I think some, uh, some tobacco, some manufacturers that have big leaves, um, I actually prefer it because it allows me to cut down the tobacco size or the leaf to the, uh, the volume that I want. The stem has the most nicotine. See, I didn't know that either. 
Um, so like even the big leaves, the big coarse leaves like this, I'm okay with it because sometimes they fit better on the bowl. Um, but if I want smaller leaves, I just take some scissors and cut them up. Not really a big problem, right? I actually sometimes prefer the big leaves because it allows me to uh, customize uh, the shisha to my liking uh, by being able to cut it and manipulate it the way that I want. So sometimes when the shisha comes too cut or too finely cut um, and I want to pack it a little bit differently, I don't have the option of doing that because it's already set that certain way. So a medium coarse cut, uh, like what Al Fokker is doing, or maybe like Alpha Kama and some other brands, I, I'm very okay with because now I can I can cut it down as fine as I want, or leave it as big as I want. It gives me that play that playroom. Um, and for me right now, that is good. So we've been mixing it up, giving it a lot of airflow. So right now, all I'm doing is just scooping it up, throwing it in the eggy bowl, making sure it's uh, as filled to the top as possible. A couple more, bread. like a couple more, a little, just a little bit more. Okay, that's good right there. Take this, move it around just a little bit. So our Claudica has been uh, going already, so it should be very preheated by now. That's the way that goes. All right, sorry about that, you got a phone call. All right, so that's it right there. I'm just uh, compressing just a little bit so it doesn't stick up. I might get a little bit of sizzle here when I put the uh, HMD on top. That's going to be okay. All right. Take the HMD. Put that on top. Throw this guy on. Boom. All right. What's up, PJ? The stems have the most nicotine, see? So people should leave them in there. You're looking for a buzz? Keep the stems in. And... Ooh. nice let's get it a little bit hotter uh, the clouds are there right away um, that was really nice uh, so what do I do with this excess on my pack mats super easy take a knife get all towards the center and just dump it right onto the container Sides down. Save the rest for later. Boom. Let's see if I can pick up some of these notes. Definitely taste the grape. The grape. I taste the raspberry. It's sweet. No lime yet. Okay. Good. 
Dude, that saffron gives it such as a like exquisite finish at the end. Um, this is very nice. I might kick this up with some of that kiwi mo. Maybe a little bit of the, uh, maybe a little bit of some mint. This is nice. I can't blow hose. Hello, David. How are you? Man, my old game's weak. Yeah, the craft batch. These are the new ones that came out, by the way. So the original craft batch numbers. I just got them, so it's new to me, all right? I know people have been smoking these for, for a while now. Uh, I had four, five, four, seven, and where's my other one? Four, seven, and eight was the ones that uh, were released in HEW3. That's three. And these three are the new ones that I just got. So, from the initial release, this one right here, number four, uh, is uh, one of my faves. Six years. So I wasn't getting for the long. Yeah. I mean, you guys, you guys have been smoking Al Fokker for a long time, and right, 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 right. You guys remember this? Sparkle when they came out with these This guy's empty, but I Kept it kept it for memories um, Actually, no, there's a little bit in there Look at that uh, It's probably expired, but now I'm not gonna smoke that but This stuff was uh, some mixes too, right? I Feel like this is a rehash of this, but I'm not too sure Conspiracy theory I'll throw it out there Yeah, dude, the double apple chili is the number four. Um, it's delicious. Clouds are great. Smoking fine. Clouds are really good, actually. Yeah, this stuff is really good. Uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm going to smoke the rest of this uh, while I jump on work hangs and uh, talk to some people. And... Oops. And yeah, that was your favorite from the expo. That, that one, the number four and the passion fruit one was, uh, was the winner for me um, from the expo. Those two rock my world. And it was so good too because I had just come off um, smoking a bunch of pepper blast from Dark Side, uh, and I wanted spicy, right? I wanted spicy in my in my mixes, uh, and that brought it to me. So the other thing that I want to try out was Mo suggested putting some Tabasco in your base. I don't normally put anything in my base, but I, I might give that a go. I mean, I got stainless steel pipes; they're not going to ghost. Let's see what happens. Um, but yeah. That, that's it for me, guys. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Take care. Have a good day. Later.